So what's going on everybody? Today we got a 2010 Lancer Evo GSR. It belongs to a friend of mine, Taryn. All right, dude, so tell me about your car, man. All right, so this is a Cosmic uh, built car, uh, kind of the hands of everyone at the shop. So essentially, um, it's just a, a map, a long block. So it's just a 2.0 closed deck, um, Sains rods, uh, Wide scope pistons, uh, GSES two cams, Beehive springs, uh, no head porting, nothing too crazy. Uh, transmissions, one of my transmissions, so it's our Cosmic uh, Stage Two uh, GSR rebuild, so it's just synchro sleeves. Um, and I'm running a uh, M Factory 418 final drive just to help with the revs a little bit. Um, cars on a ETS uh, top mount V band turbo kit, uh, 6466. Uh, turbos on a 1.05 AR hot side. Uh, and we tuned it on Motec M150 using our custom uh, firmware packages. So we have cruise control, uh, launch control, rolling anti-lag, uh, flex fuel. So we have a lot of things that we can offer that's a little bit different than your typical uh, firmware package. So it's kind of tailored to like a street car, which is the whole point of this car was well, just for street. Right. So, um, and then just going around the car, um, we just did a Evo 8 front rotors and uh, calipers. On the rear, we did a Lancer uh, caliper rotor setup, just so that way I can fit FD 16 inch wheels on there with uh, slicks. FD RX 7 wheels? Yep. Okay, cool. And cool. then uh, just the exhaust, just down pipe with a Tomei TI uh, exhaust. Um, titanium. Fuel, yep, titanium. That's fuel cool. system. I'm running fuel injector development uh, 2000s. Um, with a bulletproof racing uh, billet double pumper kit um, and the flex fuel kit uh, is NRG Ops so they sell a plug and play flex fuel kit it's awesome it literally takes you 20 minutes to install um, so feed lines 8 a.m. feed 6 a.m. return nothing too crazy pretty much we wanted it to be the most simple build that we can throw together for any customer and just have it be reliable make the power it does continuously and have little to no issues right so Hell yeah dude Okay, so sitting in the car, very simple. The whole point, again, with the build was very simple, interior, exterior, so I don't, I'm not running any gauges. The Motec literally does everything for you. you got oil pressure, back pressure, coolant temp, coolant pressure, uh, everything. So, and then over here on the left side, might be a little hard to see, but uh, there's a boost knob. So uh, I can go anywhere from wastegate, which is 25 to 30 to 35 to 40. So wastegate, you can, you know, if you're shaking down the car, you don't really have to turn it up. Uh, so wastegate, car makes around 550 on our Mustang Dyno. Um, and then at full boost, 40, which is where we keep it, the car makes around 780 on our Mustang Dyno and around 575 torque. So Dynojet, it's around 900. Um, and the car has been holding together great. Um, and it, as I said, just simple was the key. It's got eight AC still, radio, everything still works, full interior. So the main goal was that for this car was to have a nine second capable street car with all the amenities that you could ever want. So you can daily drive it and drive it to the track with no issues at all. Nice, very nice dude. Cool. So what about like the clutch and the drivetrain, you know, at the rear end and all that? What's going so, on with that? Okay, so this will tie into everything. So the clutch, we're using a quarter master uh, twin disc, a um, little squeaky at times, but to hold the power, they're great. You can launch the crap out of them, slip them, they don't care. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, transfer case is stock, rear diff is stock, drive shaft is stock. Um, although we deleted the uh, ACD pump, the stock ACD pump, uh, and installed the AccuSump. So what that'll do is I can manually pressurize the system and that'll allow us to launch without having the ACD clutches slam shut, which then would break diffs, axles, transfer cases. So pretty much we bypass all of that to make it even more simple so that way there's less issues. All right, Taryn, well, let's take this thing out on the street and do a rip. I'm really curious to see how this thing drives. I've never been in an Evo 10. Let's go for it. We're going to send it today. Yes, sir.